Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, July 12, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see on Thursday and Friday, this fell quite aggressively to the downside. But that was also expected as it ran into resistance at the 300 moving average up here at 92.80. So the question was whether or not we managed to break below the middle of the bullish band. At, at this current stage, it doesn't look like that is going to be the case. We're opening green and uh, it looks like we are going to bounce off the middle of the bullish band round here at the 92.12. Technical indicators otherwise are, are not as favorable. We can see the MACD is bearish, the KASIC is bearish, and the RSI is kind of bearish as well at this point. If we were to break below 20 exponential, then the 200 moving average down here at 91.39 will come into play as that was massive uh, support in the past. Break above the 300, and the 300 moving average that opens the door all the way up towards it, uh, 93.44. So let's look at oil. So oil opened in green today. And uh, yes, people are buying the dip. It fell quite aggressively all the way down to roughly down at the 70.24 and then rallied. Technically, in the Giddish, we can see the MACD is bearish. Stochastic is bullish and RSI is flat. And uh, if we rally from here, we'll mostly run into resistance around uh, 75.56. Uh, breakdown from here, bottom of the bullish band or 70 should probably is working as massive support. So let's look at natural gas. So heatwave is continuing in the, uh, in the North America and uh, that was basically the cause of this, most of this rally here. It did fall towards the support at the 20 exponential and then rally yet again. It is opening in red at this point, so we could fall back towards the 20 exponential, break below that. Then we have the 50 moving average down here at the 3.22. But 20 exponential, as we can see, has been holding very steadily for a very long time now. So um, expectation is for basically a support at the 20 exponential. Well, the highs here of uh, 3.8 should act as uh, resistant. So if you look at the MACD, is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at copper. So copper is still struggling here. We have rallied above the 20 exponential, open in the red at this current stage. MACD is um, bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So we have not moved much in the last uh, three weeks. We hit the bottom here at the uh, 4.08 and uh, we rallied last week up towards uh, 4.39 before basically breaking down and just going back and forward. It's uh, It can break down towards these lows again. It could also rally up towards the 50 moving average, but a rally towards these previous highs here all the way up towards roughly five, uh, that uh, probably won't occur until we break above the 50 moving average. And we are still far away from that point at this current stage. Break below these previous lows, then we can drop all the way down to the four and then towards the 200 moving average at 3.8. So let's look at gold. So gold has managed to rally significantly. We're trading at 1800. There are things, uh, a few things that have been working well for gold at this point. US dollar has been uh, depreciating and the US bonds have also been uh, declining in uh, at this current stage. So interest rates have, have basically been falling and that is both of those very bullish for gold. Question is how long that will last. We can also see that we are approaching uh, Fibonacci retracement levels here. We're right at the 38.2 and that's probably the reason was why we're finding uh, resistant here. Break above here, then we have the 200 moving average, 100, 300 moving average and the 50 and the 50 Fibonacci retracement. So getting up above 1832 that is a massive deal for this market if we manage that then we'll probably go significantly higher otherwise we could go to that point and then just drop lower uh, macd is still bullish stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well for this market break below here at uh, 1750 and we can drop towards these previous lows here roughly 
1677. So let's look at silver. So silver is uh, still just going back and forward as it has been for quite some time now. Finding support at the 200 moving average and finding resistance at the 20 exponential. And at some point, 20 will move this way, 200 will move this way, and it has to go that way or that way. And until it does that, then it's uh, probably just a complete gamble uh, entering this market. Uh, drop below the 200 moving average, opens the door to 25 and the 24.47. And uh, break above the 20, opens the door to the 50 up here at 26.98. MACD is bullish, stochastic is flat, and the RSI is flat. But MACD is bullish in negative territory. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum did rally significantly on Friday and ran into resistance, but there is nearly no pullback in uh, Platinum. But we did not manage to uh, break 20 exponential and uh, stop above it. So it's going to be a question whether or not we are going to see just more of the same rallies here and breakdowns and so on. US dollar, if it starts to appreciate, that will probably work against this. But it kind of looks like we're making higher lows. Not significantly higher, but it is technically a start that we could go higher in this market. But that is to be seen when it's open. Uh, MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium has had this massive rally here, all the way from roughly 24, 20, uh, 70, uh, 51, all the way up to 28, 77, and then it stalled. So um, at this current stage, we are still been trading above the 50 moving average. As long as we can stay above that, then we could go towards 3. Otherwise, a break below the 20 and uh, 50 and the 20 could drop this all the way back towards the 200 moving average again. So MACD is still bullish, but it is leveling off. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium did, uh, yes, dropped significantly last week. And then on Friday, it gapped up, rallied up towards uh, 24.87 and then gave most of those gains back trading at roughly at the 20 exponential macd is bearish the casting is bearish rsi is bearish break below this candlestick here i could drop this all the way back to uh, towards 23 23 uh, 38 and uh, take out this previous candle here on friday then we could go back to the private uh, these highs of a 25.59 so let's look at nickel So Nickel Viewers had a massive day on Friday, on Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday, trading at 18,700 at this point, 20 exponential, and the, is a massive support here, as, or as, as has been massive support here uh, recently, and we have basically broken above these highs. So it is very likely that we'll go to 19,000 at this point, and if we break down the 20 exponential at 18,000 has acted as support. Uh, MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish, and still room to the upside. So let's look at sugar. So sugar market continues to drop. We had this massive rally up towards uh, 0 0.18926. Uh, now we're breaking down towards the 50 moving average and trading at, seven, at 17.20. MACD is crossing the signal line, bearish indication. Uh, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So break below here, I could have well open the door back towards 1615. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is just going back and forth, but still it is holding uh, 50 and the 20 exponential are holding and we are gradually just going higher. We rallied on Friday and it if this holds, then we probably could continue up towards 0 0.90. MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, and the RSI is a very bullish at this point. It is a nice channel to the upside. We're, we are making higher lows, you see it here. And as long as that is the case, we can go and challenge these highs. And breaking above this, then we can go back towards the all-time highs. Break below the 50, well, then we are looking at the 0 0.90. 80 around that area. So let's look at Kukoa. So Kukoa did rally significantly on Friday, massive relative upside, but 
closed at the 20 exponential. So it is just more of the same, even though uh, we see these massive rallies and we think that this is all just going to turn around. If you look at the highs here and the highs of the, we can just see that this is just in a decline. We have occasionally these massive rallies followed by massive, even bigger declines, and they just make kind of lower lows and then we're just going lower. So break below this area here, this is around 2250, uh, that could almost drop this down towards 2086. Uh, we need to break technically 200 moving average and have these moving averages cross the 200 moving average in order to go back towards the highs. Otherwise, we could rally above the 20 exponential, go towards the 50, but we can see what happens here. It just breaks even further. And even though we get to 200, like we did here, it fell continuously. So uh, let's look at wheat. So wheat continues to drop. We are getting really close to a very important moving average down here at 300. And that's roughly at 600. So 300 moving average is uh, next to target at this point. We're getting very low in our size. So technical pullbacks at this point should be happen. But at this current stage, we are also having a crossing of the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. And if that occurs, we will most likely also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200. And usually that is a very, very bullish shine. Bullish, I'm sorry, uh, very bearish shine. So we are kind of in a free fall. We haven't tested the 300 moving average in this chart, at least. Tested the 200 and broke below that. So it's going to be interesting to see. There will probably, when we get to the 300, have a rally up towards the 200. So from 600 to roughly 638. Um, MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So I hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.